You're listening to 2025 The Final Drive, What You Need to Win with David Hayes. David has been providing financial advice for over 25 years and is the host of Your Money with David Hayes radio show and podcast. Matt, I mean, the math just tells us, you know, something has to be fixed. It's not not sustainable at these lower rates. And, and but here, here's the thing. They, they may say, well, we're not really raising rates. But throughout time, we've always added all these little stealth taxes. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that actually comes in as a stealth tax is that inflation factor. So let, let's go back to when they first started taxing Social Security back in the early 80s. Right. You know, prior to that, we didn't pay any taxes on our Social Security. Plus, you know, everybody got it at 65 is full retirement age. So back then, if you were a married couple and you're what we call provisional income um, was like $32,000, you didn't pay taxes, you know, on your Social Security benefits. It didn't come into your taxable income calculation. Well, that number, 32000 has never increased um, to today. Right. You know, it was not indexed for inflation. And I, I think they knew it. I, I think they knew exactly what would happen. Cause That's I, why I, I say they're actually maybe smarter than we give them yeah, credit to be. <laughs> it's because I remember doing those ta- first tax returns. Nobody paid taxes on their Social Security benefits because everything was lower. But, you know, now everybody does. Yeah, right. You know, so, so and then we have the little taxes thrown in like the 3.8 percent on the Obamacare thing. So, you know, one of the things that they're talking about right now, and this might be part of the bill that um, Manchin, you know, agreed with Schumer yesterday. Um that right now we have like pass through entities uh, that if you're actively involved in your business. Uh, you don't pay the three any payroll taxes on, on that the net on, on, because it's not it's it, because it's not considered net it, investment it, income. income. Right, right, exactly. It's, it's, just, it's like it's, earned income or, or it's active income. Yeah, active income. Yeah, yeah. So what what they're talking about doing, and of course, you know, I, I think they're going to put in that provision that you know, if anybody over four hundred thousand because. Um, mm-hmm. Biden said he wasn't going to raise taxes on anybody making less than four hundred thousand. Um, that income that passes through is going to be subject to another 3.8%, what we call the NIT tax. You know, so so there's all these little things that they add to it. Um, the gotchas. They, 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 yeah, gotcha the gotchas. Taxes. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they kind of backdoor you. Well, and you mentioned inflation. I think one, people think, oh, we'll just inflate our way out of it. And I have talked in that episode about how if you're $40 trillion in debt and you have 5% inflation, it'll feel like $20 trillion in, in 15 years. But that's not going to happen because... Every time inflation goes up, Social Security benefits go up, Medicare costs mm-hmm. go up. There's a lot of things in the social services programs that go up when inflation goes up. And the cost of money goes up. The cost of borrowing goes up. So mm-hmm. there's just no way to effectively fight your way and inflate your way out of it. So, Marty, mentioned, uh, you know, we've been through so many secure acts and bird baths and everything else. In that one episode... Um, that I talked about how budgets are built and I gave them credit for being smarter than we, you know, we thought is I'm, I'm like, why in the heck would they push required distributions out to 75? And I'm thinking, okay, well, let's look at demographics. Okay. In 10 years, the people born in 1957, which is between 57 and like 61, that's the peak of the baby boom generation. They will be 75. And then they're going to force them to start taking money out. And then they're going to die. And how and then, old are their kids? And then, right. They're at their peak <laughs> earning years. Mm-hmm. Their kids inherit it. And under the new rules, if I've already started taking required distributions, i got to keep taking required distributions. And, oh, by the way, I have to have it out in within 120 months. And then it's like, wow, this is genius. Yeah, All this really revenue is, is going to be coming down the road. And so we talked once again about the importance of a Roth because there is no – I mean, you still have to get it out as a beneficiary within 10 years. But – there's no required minimum distributions. So I'm like, we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give these dudes some credit for doing something smart. So this is the way budgets are created. Sometimes they push out expenses and pull forward income. Sometimes they pull forward expenses and push out income. I'm not sure I'm right, but I'm pretty dang gone convicted that I'm pretty close. I immediately, when the SECURE Act passed and they made that 72, I immediately had the same, same, reaction. same reaction. Tap the brakes before you do anything. Tap the brakes. Because if you would like to talk about how we can help you navigate these complicated issues, please go to cfci.us, contact us there, set up your complimentary call. I did one today. It was 20 minutes long. It was great. Helped out some folks. Or give us a call at 812-334-3190, and I promise you, we will make it happen. Thank you for listening to this podcast. The clock is ticking. Each decision that is made today will put more money into your pocket or leave you worried about your financial future. The time to prepare is now. 
The time to eliminate risk was yesterday. Let's partner to help those around us to make decisions that empower their financial future. If you would like to book David for a speaking event, please contact CFC at cfci.us. You can purchase his book, 2025 The Final Drive, into www.cfci.us and clicking on 2025 The Final Drive.